What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian Weather Forecast. This is going to be another update here on major winters from uh, Quaid, as it is going to potentially going to bring in possibly snow all the way from areas in Georgia and Alabama, potentially all the way up to areas like Maine. So we're talking very widespread nor'easter here to potentially bring in additional snow to areas like New York City, Dover, Baltimore, Boston, and Furthermore, into areas like Nova Scotia. So, if you guys want to know the timing here, who can get the worst snow, whether you live in Atlanta, whether you live in Boston, wherever you live across the Eastern Corridor, I will tell you guys the timing, who get the worst, as well as the flooding and snowfall totals throughout major winter storm Cade. So, definitely a lot to talk about throughout this video. Uh, yeah, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions about this winter storm, be sure to put them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to respond to you guys. But without further ado, let's get into the forecast. All right, guys, so this is a look now at the National Weather Service, and this is the latest update as of what we have so far. These warnings continue to stretch all the way from Boston to areas like, uh, areas like Georgia. But again, these watches... These watches that were in Boston earlier this afternoon have now been converted into warnings and now we have advisory stretch stretching all the way from Maine to areas in the higher elevations in Georgia here. We still have these advisories here from winter storm Peggy and again here are the alerts here for this major winter storm Quade or Quade that's going to bring in potentially snow from Georgia all the way up to areas like Maine here. So Warnings are in effect for New York City, areas of the whole state of the whole state of Rhode Island's under a warning, Boston's under a warning, uh, DC's under a warning, as well as Roanoke, Asheville, North Carolina, all the way up to areas like Helen, Georgia here. And then advisories are in effect for areas like uh, Allentown, areas like Harrisburg, Dover, as well even to areas like um, maybe even out there near Pittsfield, Massachusetts, and newly added advisories near the Portland, Maine region. So that's what we have so far for the alerts for this winter storm here as of now here. There's Peggy that's going to bring a few snow showers and even a few inches there across Chicago, St. Louis, and portions of the Great Lakes here. But let's go ahead and check a look now at what we have for the latest HRR and MAN 3 kilometer forecast. All right, guys, so this is the latest HRR forecast here. This actually is the 21Z. So this is the latest update, and it's actually continuing to uh, reload as, we're, as we speak. So... As you see there, we have those snow showers developing across areas of uh, the, the Great, uh, not Great Lakes, but across the Midwest there, in areas like Springfield, Columbia, St. Louis, and even Kansas City has seen actually a few frequent snow showers throughout the day. But really the main focus right now is now becoming the Southeast, here, areas like Northern Georgia, uh, Northwestern South Carolina, and as well as the Great Smoky Mountains there near North Carolina is where we'll be seeing that heavy, heavy snow developing throughout tonight here. Mainly it's rain, but we are going to be seeing some snow developing across the Appalachians. So there we see, of course, that snow across areas developing those higher elevations there, upper, uh, upper Georgia, southern North Carolina. But just wait, as these temperatures continue to cool off uh, as we get in the overnight hours, we will start to get near below freezing temperatures. However, areas like Gainesville and areas as well near the Atlanta metro region will stay above freezing here. However, that snow will continue to drop here surprisingly. It's going to become a big, big threat by, according to the, the according to the HRR, by 7 p.m. Eastern and as well 8 p.m. Eastern there. Extremely heavy snow there, of course, near uh, Asheville, Franklin, North Carolina, Upper Georgia, and then some that snow from uh, Peggy entering areas like Chicago, South Bend, and Poplar Bluff. So we have two current winter storms right now, and both low pressures actually somewhat combined together to create this major nor'easter here. But look at that, the next five hours here, we're talking big time ice threats across northeast Georgia and as well near Greenville, South Carolina. So since we will be seeing uh, around slightly above freezing temperatures, big threat will be ice here across areas like Toccoa, Georgia, uh, like Lawrenceville, Georgia, Greenville, South Carolina, even Clemson may see a big ice threat. And then you see that snow developing across the Ohio Valley from Peggy, Evansville, there in Paducah, and as well Poplar Bluff. But big time snow for Georgia. It won't be whiteout conditions, of course, but the snow will come down quite heavy uh, as long as the HBR plans out. 
And then next eight hours, that snow will continue to move more northward and seeing a big ice right now uh, tomorrow early morning uh, by Charlotte. Now, Raleigh, Greenville still seeing some snow. And as that cold air does continue to become more widespread, even some snow developing across east central Tennessee. And then again, the next 10 hours, that's when that rain will start to develop into uh, snow across areas like Virginia. Roanoke, for example, continue to see the ice and even some snow across Nashville for portions of tomorrow morning. And that'll actually make its way into areas like Georgia tomorrow morning as well. So we kind of see two ways for the southeast. Uh, the one right now, obviously, tonight. And then the second one there, Nashville, it'll make its way into areas like Georgia, Greenville, as well, Asheville. Uh, so basically, like, two little waves here. So we could see some more snow than expected here. So here's now we look at the NAN 3 kilometer here. They show a very similar scenario. There you see that snow developing across those higher elevations there in the Great Smoky Mountains and the Chattahoochee Forest. As we now get later on, the next 12 hours, that snow will continue. However, the NAN 3 kilometer is kind of limiting that snow. It's not getting it as close as Raleigh or as Greenville or as Charlotte as what the AARR actually has. But they have it potentially bringing in maybe whiteout conditions for some areas in Dover and areas like New York City could possibly see some whiteout conditions for a little bit, not because blizzard-wise, but because since the slow pressure will be quite strong, it actually will bring in some gusty winds frequently. So we won't be seeing three hours straight of blizzard conditions in order for a blizzard warning, but we will be seeing some some little seconds, or at least a few minutes of whiteout conditions, but they obviously won't be too frequent, just depending on the gusts here, but that'll continue to air like New England. So this is looking at the next 20 hours. So there you see a lot of that rain will kind of start to diminish as that low pressure does make its way further off the coast here, which is the reasoning why we won't be seeing too much snow, like 20 inches or 10 inches here. So I do apologize. I actually am in a call on Discord right now. So I do apologize if you guys just heard a voice. But back to the video here, we are going to start seeing some heavy snow across areas like Foxborough, areas like Rhode Island, New Jersey, even upstate New York there. And then it'll make its way up to areas like Nova Scotia. So we are talking potentially maybe blizzard conditions for Nova Scotia, just up the United States here. But the new AARR snowball totals, they are actually slowly increasing for areas like Georgia here, up to two to three inches there in Gainesville, maybe up to an inch near Chicago, a few inches there off the Mississippi River there in areas like Davenport, St. Louis, maybe a trace if you guys are uh, maybe maybe an inch. We'll definitely have to see exactly whether those bands do become stronger and even a few inches there across areas like far southern Illinois. But in the next 18 hours, we could see a trace for New York, uh, maybe an inch or two for Philadelphia. And of course, the next 18 hours, main, mainly that snow will be in the southeast. But really, once we get after 18 hours, that snow will mainly be in the northeast. But up to around three to four inches there across areas like uh, the, the, the Appalachians there in Kentucky, a few inches there as well in West Virginia and Virginia, and as well a few inches there in Upper Georgia and Upper South Carolina. But let's go ahead and check a look now at the uh, more detailed forecast here. You can kind of see Charlotte may get maybe a trace in the next 18 hours, Gainesville, Georgia, two to three inches there. That's kind of where I'm located. Raven County and Upper Georgia may get a few inches as well. Asheville may look maybe three to four inches, but just to the south, we may get near half a foot of snow in those uh, higher elevations there, just outside the Great Smoky Mountains. Now the NAN 3 kilometer, showing a very similar scenario here, getting up to a trace across the Gainesville, and even up to a few inches scattered inches across upstate Alabama. So that's obviously quite interesting near Huntsville and that general uh, region. Nashville may get maybe an inch or so, but I really won't count on it. It just depends on whether that, that rain will convert to snow in time. But look at the NAN 3 kilometer. They're showing a lot higher totals for Virginia, getting up to 8 to 10 inches there near Roanoke, maybe uh, maybe a trace, even 2 inches across Richmond. New York City may get 2 to 3 inches there. And look at Long Island, may get up to a half a foot. So it's going to be a big, big coastal event. We actually may see way more snow all out on the actual ocean than the coast here. Look at Alinex City, may get three inches, but look at look at the ocean, they may get eight inches. So that's exactly how this storm will work out. And that's why it won't be such a big storm like we thought earlier yesterday, or at least this morning here. But look at that, Dover may get around eight inches there, Baltimore and nearly DC may get a few inches there. But again, it won't be too shabby again. Let's go ahead and check look, check look now at the Northeast map and see what they're showing here for the NAN 3 kilometer. 
And this is kind of what they're showing here. Like you do see, we're going to be seeing kind of a big coastal event. And that's exactly why Nova Scotia will get extremely heavy snow because obviously they're more south than these areas, of course. You kind of see like right here, it's kind of right near Cape Cod. So that's kind of what we're seeing there. Boston may get anywhere from three inches, eight inches. Again, if you're right on the actual harbor, for once you actually get maybe you actually may get more snow. If you're in areas like uh, areas like Pro or not Province, Newport, uh, Islip on Long Island, Cape Cod, you guys may get a few uh, inches as well. And here's uh, here's a look at the European. They're getting around up to a few inches there in Upper Georgia. Actually, the interesting part is the European actually had to trace for Atlanta, Georgia. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Uh, so again, European still shows a decent amount of snow across mid-Atlantic. They still have up to half a foot for D.C. They still have up to eight inches across the harbor there near Annapolis, Maryland. They still have up to eight inches there in East Central Tennessee. So definitely something to keep in mind here. They still have near half a foot across Philadelphia and Trenton. So obviously... We have to keep in mind, obviously, it's not too it's not too far out, which is why we need models to start agreeing uh, European, which is one of the most accurate snowfall map or snowfall models. They're really kind of far off compared to other models that are detailed, like the AAR or the NAM. And last but not least, we'll be looking at the GFS here, what they have. This is actually the 18Z. Let me move my screen right there. There you see, this is the 18Z. They get actually a decent snow accumulation across the Appalachians there uh, to near foot across upstate Georgia, near Raven County, uh, as well near um, Towns County. And look at Asheville and Cherokee and even Franklin, North Carolina. You guys may get up to anywhere from five, maybe even to eight inches, maybe even nine inches there, especially near Franklin, North Carolina on the border with Georgia and may get near foot. At, uh, Nashville, you guys are looking at nothing basically according to the H, according to the NAM, according to the GFS. Richmond may actually get one to three inches according to the, the last uh, the last model run for the GFS. And let's take a look at the Northeast. Uh, a big difference, a pretty big difference. They only get maybe an inch or so, maybe even only a trace for Allentown. Maybe maybe an inch or two for Philadelphia maybe four inches across upstate new jersey new york city may get only three inches but look where we've seen that most snow right there near cape cod but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please be, do not forget to subscribe and again be sure to like it the video and if you have any questions be sure to put them in the comments below but everybody stay safe i'll keep you guys updated if i need to if i need to make another video later this evening i will do so but hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys